Creating a stem and leaf display. First of all, we set up the outline of our stem and leaf display. The stem and leaf is going to be one column for the stems and a second column for all of the leaves. When we look at the data, we take the last digit of each number and that will be what will go into the leaf. So any remaining digits will go into the stem. In this particular example, we've got stems that have one digit and also two digits because we've got numbers ranging from 65 up to 155. Then we proceed to systematically place these numbers into the stem and leaf plot. So for example, the first number is 155. We cross off the 155, we scroll down to a stem of 15, which represents 150, and we add in the leaf 5. So that now represents 155. We go to our next number, which is 142. So we go down to the stem of 14, and we put in a 2 in the leaf. The next one is 125, so we put in a 5 to get 125. 150, we put in a 0. And we gradually build up our stem and leaf plot. We put in an 8 for 68. We put in a 5 for 95. We put in a 7 for 97. The important thing when we start to get beyond the first column of numbers in the leaf is to make sure that the columns in the leaf all line up so that all of the digits that are second in the leaf should line up one under the other. So we've got 75, 103, so it's 103, 125, 115, 133, 105. So you can see that we've got these digits lining up. And you continue to do this until you have all of the leaves into your stem and leaf display. When you do it this way, you don't actually have what we call an ordered stem and leaf display. For example, in the 15, right, we have 155 coming before 150. You can use a stem and leaf display to help you find the median and the quartiles but you need to make sure that your stem and leaf display has been put into order. So if we look at this display as an ordered stem and leaf display, you can see that I've now got my 150 in front of my 155. From here we can find the median, the quartiles and the five number summary.